Hey everyone and welcome to the Corona Cast. Words of hope in a land without hand sanitizer. I pray you're doing well. Um, I thought today we might sing Down by the Riverside. Gonna lay down my burdens Down by the riverside Down by the riverside Down by the riverside Gonna lay down my burdens Down by the riverside And study war no more I ain't gonna study war no more Study war no more I ain't gonna study war no more Across the world, down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside, gonna shake hands all across the world, down by the riverside, and study war no more. I ain't gonna study war no more, ain't gonna study war no more, ain't gonna study war no more. I ain't gonna study war no more. Ain't gonna study war no more. Ain't gonna study war no more. Our lesson today is one of my favorites, and it comes from the 31st chapter of Jeremiah. At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people who survived the sword found grace in the wilderness when Israel sought for rest. The Lord appeared to them from far away. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. Again, I will build you and you shall be built. I don't usually do this, but I'm filming it today. Um, after church on Sunday, September 13th, and I think this one's for October, but one of the things that I said in church today, it was our first Sunday that we had worship in the sanctuary. And when everything at St. Luke's is full and doing well, there are tons of people upstairs. Before church, it's hard to get everyone's attention because People are visiting with their neighbors. The kids are running around, and it is so joyful to see. And I stood up there today as we talked, and I said, you know, I'm afraid, and I'm afraid that when all this is over, church is only going to be this full. And it's not unusual for us to have 200 people in church on a Sunday there were probably 40, 45 people in the sanctuary. And in my darker thoughts, I think, what if everybody just decides to stay home and watch it on the internet? Or what if life has changed to the point where people don't gather like they do? And when my brain starts, I think about verses like this. I think about the fact that Jeremiah says that God has said that people, when they are even far off, who have survived this time that is so unusual, are drawn back with an everlasting love. That they are drawn back to God and the hope is that the temple will be rebuilt. These words were written thousands of years ago. And they remind us that the people of God have continued to endure. The people of God have prospered. When challenges have come, there are always ways to be faithful. I, I can't wait to see what God is going to do, and I'm so proud of what God is doing now. Let us pray. Heavenly God, gracious Father, watch over this church and all others. Let us know your love. Let us do your work. In your name we pray. 